Well, Tania, the Alabama Gulf Coast touts some of the country's most beautiful beaches. But did you know much of the state used to be underwater? McWayne Science Center recently collected a new fossil that tells us more about the ancient climates of Alabama and how our history can better inform our future. This specimen here, the upper shell is embedded in a boulder. Paleontologist June Eversall runs the collections department at McWayne Science Center, where there is no shortage of ancient life to study. A lot of people don't realize that Alabama is the number one state in the U.S. for fossils. Just about anywhere you go in the state, you can find them. And so it just so happens rivers are a great place to go looking for fossils because Mother Nature is washing away the dirt, breaking down the rocks. Back in 2021, during a routine fishing trip in South Alabama, a family stumbled upon an unusual looking boulder, one that had been previously concealed underwater. We had record droughts here in Alabama, and so the water levels were really far down in all our major waterways. The unique rock turned out to be a 32 million year old leatherback sea turtle fossil. After six months of planning, scientists from across the state collaborated to excavate the fossil. The team took the specimen back to a research lab and unearthed further discoveries. This turtle was so unique and so different from all the other fossil leatherback turtles that have ever been found that we were able to show scientifically that it was so different it needs its own genus name and species name. The turtle is now known as Wiloja colmanorum, a name that honors the family who discovered it and its origins on indigenous land. Wiloja means water turtle in Muscogee, the native Creek language. Ebersol says analyzing ancient fossils like Wiloja can help better inform us about the present and vice versa. We can forecast what's going to happen in the world today by studying the fossil record. How did these things evolve through time? How do they survive things like climate change and so forth? to essentially evolve into the modern sea turtles that we see today. But how do paleontologists know which era Wiloja originated from? If I took a sugar cube sized sample of that rock and counted all the nanoplankton's in there, there'd be over 30 billion in a sugar cube. <laughs> so we call them nanofossils. Nanofossils are very great for dating rocks because the combinations of these little species of plankton, they live for very short amounts of time. And they are very widely distributed, meaning all the oceans that were around during this time period had those same planktons. And so it's a way for us to globally correlate this time period. Though you may envision the Wiloja once swimming around the warm waters of the Gulf like modern day marine life, the fossil shows the ancient leatherback originated from a very different climate. It's 32 million years old, which is the very, the very beginning of a time period called the Oligocene. The Oligocene is very interesting because the world enters a global ice age. It's not the ice age that everybody thinks of with saber-toothed cats and giant sloths and mastodons and mammoths. This is a 40 million year old ice age. McWayne Science Center touts the most extensive fossil record in Alabama. Their collection provides not just clues about past climates, but how geography has evolved in the state over time. So the fossil record is very, very, very informative, especially because you know people don't realize that you can go to the top of Mount Chiha and find shark teeth. So most of Alabama for its geological history was under a shallow ocean. So unique fossils like Wiloja are just one piece of the puzzle to forecast Alabama's future, one defined by the Yellowhammer State's rich geological past. We can essentially say that if you want to study the history of life in the oceans in one place, the only place in the world you can really do that is Alabama. A lot of people think that you know we're only number one in football, but we are number one in life, past and present. Well, if you want to get a glimpse of the Wiloja fossil, head over to McWayne Science Center where the groundbreaking find is now on display in the Natural History Department. Now here's Wes with an update on your not so ancient forecast. <laughs>